Uh-oh. For goodness sakes. Well, what are you grinning at? Nothing, nothing at all, Mr. Webb. Only I was just thinking. Here it is, your wedding day, and you've been on that phone so long, somebody think you was going to marry the operator. Well, uh, it's not a bad idea. I haven't been able to get Miss Jackie yet. Her phone's been busy for exactly 43 minutes. Don't get discouraged, boss. If she's anything like my wife, she's just getting warmed up. Blattle, 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 talk, talk, talk. She could give an aspen a headache. You know, I ought to tear this thing right off the wall. I did it. Here, hold the phone. This ain't gonna help none, boss. Yo, Miss Jack will just keep right on talking. Mm, you was getting mad in a couple of hours, and Tip was sure is forgetting. Well, I'll try it just once more. Sorry, sir, but that line is still busy. Oh, this can't go on. The receiver's giving me a cauliflower ear. This is the operator. Look, sweetheart, what do I do to get Hempstead 9456? Dial Hempstead 9456. I've been doing it for 45 minutes, and all I get is a busy signal. Sorry, but that line is busy. Oh. Boss, we stopped it. That's one of the first things I'm going to insist upon when we're married. No long-winded conversations. That's it, boss. You've got to be firm with them. Now, take my wife, for instance, this morning I bawled out about being so extravagant. What happened? I'm giving up cigars. You know, I suppose a guy shouldn't talk about his bride on the day he's going to be married. But my fiancé sure cops the prize. Compared to her long-winded conversations, a fireside chat sounds like a ten-word telegram. Postal telegraph, please. Postal, I'd like to send a telegram, Rush, to Miss Jacqueline DeLong, 907 Central Park East. And so I changed our plans at the last minute. I know Webb will be surprised because it's his idea to spend our honeymoon in California. But personally, I think it'll be much more romantic to go away to a nice, quiet place where we can be all by ourselves. Hold on a minute, Dorothy. Someone at the door. Be a darling moment and see who it is. Why not? Well? As I was saying, Dorothy, I know Webb and I'll have a wonderful time. I know. Well, I hope we'll be just as happy as you and Dick are. He treats you so sweetly. I know. He's more like a friend than a husband. Uh-huh. Well, Mother said a girl never knows what really happens is till she gets married. Yes, and then it's too late. Wait a minute, Dorothy. Mona's trying to tell me something. What'd you say, dear? I hate to stick my cold nose into your warm conversation, but there might be something important in this telegram. Oh, of course. Don't hang up, Dorothy. I'll be right with you. Oh, my goodness. Well, what is it, darling? Has Webby changed his mind? No, he's trying to get me on the phone. Hello, Dorothy. Goodbye. I can't understand why he sent this wire. I just started talking to Dorothy. Are you kidding? From the way you were hanging on to that receiver, I thought you were posing for a petty drawing. Well, I... Oh, Webb, darling, I'm so sorry. Now, don't bother apologizing. All I want to know is this. I had reservations on the 4 o'clock plane for California. When I went over to pick them up, they said you'd cancel them. Why? Well, you see, dear, the most wonderful thing happened. Dad bought the darlingest country place for us as a wedding present, so I decided we'd spend our honeymoon there. A farm? Are you kidding? What do we know about farms? You'll love it, darling. I haven't seen the place, but the man said. What man? Oh, Webb, you know you're always talking about having a little place in the country where we could raise things. Vegetables, I mean, and pigs, chickens, and horses. They're man's best friends, you know. Yeah, I can just picture it. One of them running across the room, hippity-hop, hippity-hop, and jumping right into my lap. Oh, darling, it'll be heavenly. The smell of the dew on the grass, the smell of the good earth, the smell of the new mown hay. Yeah, I can see the aroma from here. What about that flat I rented? Flat? Don't be silly, darling. We can't keep a cow in a flat. Oh, so a cow goes with the place too, huh? No, but I just bought one. You bought one? Why? Look, sweetheart, I don't know anything about cows, and I'm certain that you don't. Well, Harmony could be there to teach me. Harmony? <laughs> He doesn't know anything more about cows than we do. Wait, I'll prove it to you. Harmony, if you were on a farm and you wanted some milk, how would you get it? Now, speak up nice and loud so Miss Jackie can hear you. That ain't no problem, Mr. Webb. All you have to do is set out a bottle and the milkman does the rest. <laughs> well, you heard him. I guess that settles it. From now on, we leave the farming to the farmers. I'll call up the ticket office and reinstate the plane reservations. Honey, you're going to love California. 
No, there's no use arguing about it. I've made up my mind. I'll see you in church. And don't be late. Got to be firm with them, Harmony. That's what I always says. But what I says and what I does ain't always what I do. California, here we is. Be firm. Oh, it's gorgeous. Open up the gate. Oh, well, that one needs a little oil. Yes. That one needs a little glue. Oh, Webby, why do you have to be like that? My goodness, what difference is making oil? Let's go. Webby. So this is the place the guy said was heaven. Must have had his places mixed. Oh, now, darling, don't start running it down until you've really seen it. Start running it down? Somebody beat me to it. Look at those gopher holes. Tough spot for a pig leg guy. Stop it. It's probably charming inside. Mm. Just look at this veranda. You know it'd be lovely when it's painted and has some colorful furniture. Mm -hmm. Harmony. Yes, sir. I know. Paint the porch and color up some furniture. <laughs> now, who do you suppose that is? And whatever is he doing? Well, I don't know who he is, but it looks like he's preparing a little necktie party. <laughs> Maybe it's for us. Well, <clears throat> let's go. Oh, uh, Mr. Webb, if it's all the same to you, I was resigning now as of. Me too. Having fun? Just a bit of practice. Oh, professional hangman, huh? Not anymore. They switched the gas. Oh, I see you've uh, retired. By request. They said hanging was old-fashioned. You ever been hanged? Who, me? Got a good neck for it. I bet some of your hangings have been masterpieces. Only had one bad one. Rope trouble? No, a uh, receding chin. Receding chin. Oh, the rope slip. Yes, he fell off the scaffold. What happened? Broke his neck. <laughs> Webb, now I know where I've seen that man before. His picture was in the paper last week. He was the one that hanged that notorious public enemy, Honey Boy Spray. That was me. It was my last job, my prettiest job. Oh, come. He had a prick in his neck and couldn't get rid of it. I told him I'd fix it for him. Why? Hanging it? Yeah. How'd he come out? Streamline. <laughs> That's how I got this place. He willed it for me before a lot of witnesses. Your place? Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Well, I'm awful glad I met you. Uh, do you mind if we take a look inside? No, go right in. The door's open. It always is. The lock's busted. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Would you mind putting this on? Who, me? Yes, come on. It won't hurt you. It ain't even going to approach me. That man show sure makes me nervous. Hey, Mr. Um, um, hey, termites? No. Bullets. Smell well, kind of mysterious and musty in here. Yeah, the smell of the dew on the grass, the smell of the new mown hay, the smell of the cow. It smells, period. Oh, now, Webb, all houses smell musty when they've been closed up a long time. Hey, don't you think you ought to straighten yourself out with the guy that owns it before you start to move in? Well, why, the place is ours. I'll call Dad tomorrow and have him send the deed and there'll be no argument. All right, but it's your funeral. Her funeral? 
Not the way that hangman looks at my name. What a fascinating room. Nice place for a victory garden. What a lovely fireplace, Webb. Can't you just see yourself sitting in that chair evening? No, but I can see any boy baking the crick out of his neck. I see a sign on your car, just married. That's right. You don't show it. <laughs> well, believe it or not, this is Mrs. Fry and I'm Webster Fry. Pleased to know you. <laughs> I'm Ben Bowen. What'd you run away for? You keep your knots to yourself and leave my neck out of <laughs> Do you live in this big house all along? No, I live in the little house at the back, next to the hen house. Where I can watch the egg. Good idea. Mr. Bowen, there seems to be a little mix-up. This place was given to us as a wedding present. I knew Honey Boy was a killer, but I didn't think he was a crook. Oh, no. Father gave it to us. It'll be all straightened out tomorrow. But is it all right if we stay here tonight? Sure, it's all right. If you don't mind the dirt. Know any? Huh? Skip it. This used to be Honey Boy's hangout. He strangled a woman right in that chair. <gasps> That's his picture up there. It's been done over to hide the crick in his neck. His head wobbled over like this. Anything wrong with yours? No. Uh, uh, Harmony, put the car up and bring the bags in. Yes, ma'am. We're staying. Be firm. Well, I must get the ropes in. It looks like rain and they might shrink. Why, I bet his brains up. Just wish you'd start on me. <laughs> well! What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Look, darling, your piano. Isn't it wonderful? Oh, uh, it's a little out of tune, I guess. No. It's all right. We're wrong! Darling. I'm your husband. Remember me? The fellow that did with the I do's this morning? It's no use, Webb. I like it here and you don't. Oh. Uh, it'll be all right. As soon as we get a little paint. Maybe some new furniture. And after all, we will be together. Yeah. I... Come home to rest. Take him right in. Hey, you. Grab hold of the hand. Who, me? Yes, you. It's a little out of my line. Mr. Webb, where is you? Don't forget what he said. Nobody can ever come between us. Sign here. Well, who are you? Jones Transfer Company. Oh, must be the things I had set up from town. Oh. What do you want? We'll put it in the storage room. We won't open it for a week. Listen, lady, you don't leave things like that lay around for a week. Look, Buster, you... Please put away my wife, tell you. Okay, it's your body and coffin right from... Body? Right from the penitentiary. They want it in the storage room. Storage room? Why, well, that's revolting. Well, where is the storage room? Maybe you'd better put it in the parlor after all, don't you think so, darling? Oh, yeah, it's by all means. Uh, what do you think? Uh... Yeah, it's all right with him. <clears throat> well, let's go. Oh. You folks act like you wasn't expecting Honey Boy's break to remain. Honey Boo... Uh, honey Bee... Uh, in there? You're his relatives, ain't you? Well, uh... Not exactly. You see, I'm... Yes, I know. His girl. I knew that the first time I saw you. So long. 
Cut it out. Well, I can think of nothing nicer than to spend the rest of our honeymoon in a mall. Shall I start packing, Miss Jackie? Yes, right. No, I like this place. It's beginning to intrigue me. And when I'm intrigued, I'm a very determined man. Mr. Webb, I wish you'd quit being so brave for all of us. What's the matter? You scared? What are you going to do with the body? Frame it? Oh, now, Webby, don't be like that. Somebody must have arranged to have it sent here. Maybe it was Ben, you know, our hangman friend. Harmony, go get him and bring him in here. Me go get him? Don't argue with it. Do what you're told. Yes, sir. I'm going, but I'll be prepared. It works. What are you going to do? Going to call the newspapers and get some publicity. You don't think I'm going to miss a chance like this, do you? You can't do that. I can't, hey? Then we'll throw a party. I'll invite some of your mobster friends. You like those people. Yeah, I'll get fix the place up nice and sweet and get some skeletons and use them for Venetian blinds. Now, let's see, who can I ask? I can ask Peoria Joe, Walla Walla Bolliver, Michigan Fred, Wee Hawk and Bess, I Gin Rummy, Pineapple. Oh, that's what we'll do. We'll play some games, sure. Let's see uh, if we can play duck for them. apples amongst those guys. I It'll be great. Them. Yeah, then we can play pin this stuff on the donkey. And then, post office, you kiss you my girl, I'll stick you with a knife, I'll shoot you, bring I'll go to my hip and rat like my hip. What are we getting excited about? There's nothing to be afraid of. Who's excited and who's afraid? That's one side of my nature that never comes up. Let's see, uh, we can play duck for apples amongst those guys in the big bay. Yeah, then we can play pin the stuff on the donkey. And then, post office, you kiss you my girl, I'll stick you with a knife, I'll shoot you, bring I'll go to my hip and rat like Buddy. No. No? So death, uh, uh, so death, roll the dice that night. The dice that night. Reaping a grim harvest of horror. A harvest of horror. He dragged the body. He dragged the body. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. Into the kitchen. Into the kitchen. And put him into the icebox. Hello? Yeah? Who, the mayor? Drunk? No, don't lock him up. Put him in the icebox. Put him in the icebox. No, 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 not the mayor. Send him home. Send him home. The maniac killer. The, the, the maniac killer. Was doomed. Was doomed. By the crimson hatchet, crimson hatchet, he held in his blood-drenched hands. His blood-drenched, blood-drenched hands. They got him in the end. They got him in the end. The end. Yeah, I got that. They got him in the end. I said, uh, fini. Period. When I get mad, there's something I gotta do about it. I gotta give way to myself. Webby, I'm like the terrible timid Mr. Bing. You're brave. You're wonderful. I love the... you. Say that again. I love you. Well, I love you too. What are we getting all excited about? After all, there's nothing to worry about. He can't hurt us. He's dead. Tell you what we do. We'll call the undertakers and get him to take him out of here. Better than that, I'll call the police. Okay. For they had a right to or not, he gave me this property. And the least I can do to show my appreciation is to give him a decent burial. What'll it be, under the cypress or oleander? Oleander, it's poisonous. In two hours, we could be in New York with millions of people around, and all of them alive. I'll take it. Chief of Police. Boy, am I glad to see you. Why? Well, I, you see, the thing happened to... Who are these people? Well, that's my wife, that's my chauffeur, that's... Uh, and who are you? I'm Webster Fry. I phoned you. And this? Well, he just hangs around. I hung a man once that looked like you. Uh, Herbie, check up on him. Oh, he was a professional hangman. He hung Honey Boy Sprague, who used to own this house. He gave it to me. My father gave it to us. We came up here for a honeymoon, and so far we've had all the privacy of Grand Central Station. Yeah, it looks like an old Indian trail running right through here. I'm not interested in real estate. I came up here to, uh, to find a corpse. To find a corpse. Would you mind telling me where I could find the deceased? In the parlor. You might have said so. You might have asked me. Uh, in the parlor. 
Come on, all of you. That means you two. Come on. I begs to be excused. I was allergic to corpses. Oh, in there. All right, Herbie, let's get it opened up. Empty. Gone. Thank goodness. It makes you so glad. Why shouldn't she be glad? She didn't order it. She didn't want it. She hasn't any use for it. And she's glad to be without it. So you hid it. Why should I hide it? I don't know. Maybe you're making a collection. You're a... Uh, my collar. Read it at your ledger and call me at the office any time. Come on, honey. You get the car, Harmony. My body's willing, but my knees won't raise to the occasion. I'm disappointed. I did want you all to see how I'd straightened him out. You sure you hung him until he was dead? When I hang him, they stay hang. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. I've got to think. When I think, I've got to have quiet. It's the creative artist in me. Whoop! Lock the doors. Maybe we've got something here. Hey, Smoothie. Look. Police car. Hey, maybe we'd better scram, huh? Yeah, yeah. Don't be silly. We're not backing out on account of a cop. You could be the one that's being silly. Why leave with your chin? Could come back after the cops leave. We're going in now. Now remember your characters. Look sad. I look sad. <laughs> oh, shut up. I didn't do nothing, Josie. What's the matter with you? Ah! Ah! Hold everything. Sure. Corpses don't hop out of coffins and walk away, do they, Herbie? They do not. They've got to have help, don't they, Herbie? They sure do. So, who moved him? Come on, honey. As you were. You can't stop us. Of course you can't stop us. Didn't you ever read the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, the case of Mr. Longfellow, Persons of the As you were. No, no more visitors. We're close to the public. Uh, <clears throat> come in. Good afternoon, officer. Who are you, and what do you want? We're relatives of the deceased. We came to give him a decent burial. This is big sister Josie. This little sister Mabel. And am I sad. Ooh. And these two gentlemen are his bereaved cousin. How about yourself? Are you a relative too? No, I'm the family lawyer. Hmm, fraternity brother. Whom do we have to thank for shipping the late Mr. Sprague here? You? Nobody claimed him, so I took it on myself. I hope I didn't break the law. No, just a slight inconvenience. A useless trip to the prison. And back, of course. It's nice to be allowed to come back. May we see him? Sure, go ahead. Yes, come on. Somebody selling tickets. <clears throat> oh, outside, folks. Have to wait for the next show. Get away, son. You bother me. He's gone. Say, what is this, a joke? What have you done with my brother? I demand to see my cousin's remains. Hey, this ain't no time for no practical joke, even if you were a chief of police. Gee, maybe he got better and left. This is no practical joke. We just discovered the body was missing a few minutes before you came in. Missing? Let me tell you something. Now, Josie, let the chief explain. But I'm Ralph's big sister. I practically raised him from a baby. He, he was like my son. <laughs> oh. And now, don't get excited, Josie. Don't, don't take on like that. You'll you get hiccups. Remember your ulcers. Got any idea where the body is, Chief? It's around here somewhere. That is, if it was in the coffin when the expressman brought it. We'll search every room in the house. We'll start in the cellar. Where is it? I know that. Come on, everybody. Come on, the Chief said everybody. Right this way, ladies and gentlemen. The bus leaves in five minutes. Chinatown, the Bowery, and Eden's Museum. Oh, you love that, Pop. Lots of hangings there. Fatima, who dances with everything but her feet. Why, <laughs> Ben, I never knew that you know about those things. <laughs> Hold it, everybody. Hey, boy, Sprague. Oh, that's only a dummy. No. I hang it. I practice with it every day. Well, don't do it again. And don't practice on me. Come on, everybody. Help me look. Come on, everybody. <laughs>
start at the top. Where is it? Don't answer. Come on, everybody, all of you. Yeah, I'll go with you, Fifi. Oh, all right, everybody, go on upstairs. Go on. Hey! You two. Herbie, I want this place searched thoroughly. Search every room. Search every knock and cruelly. Put down. It's in there! Oh, this must be the crash we heard. He's still around. Where can he hide? I got it. Come out of that closet, or we'll start shooting. Come out with your hands in the air. I'll count three. One, two, three. All right, Herbie, show him how we shoot. We never miss. What is this? It's that dummy again. Put him in there. That's right, Chief. He couldn't walk in. Well, lots of dummies can walk. You get around all right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what do you want me to do with him? Put him down in the cellar. Shall I hang him? No, just put him. He looked better hanging. No personality. I saw you pick up something in the bedroom closet. What was it? This. What do you make of it? Well, it looks like it was drawn by a drunk with a jitters. No, don't do that. It might mean something. So, you're trying to run out on me, eh? No, we're not trying to run out on you. When we go any place, we walk. Remember the Bill of Rights invading the privacy of a man's home? Search bar? You sent for me, didn't you? That I did. Is there any reason why my husband and I can't go back to New York and start our married life in the peace and quiet of the roaring city? My wife's right. There's no reason for us to stay here any longer. You two were here when the corpus delecti arrived, and you were here when it disappeared. Nobody leaves this house till I find that body. Herbie, bring up the baggage. <clears throat> Get ready to stay here for the night. Yes, but what do we do for sustenance? Who's he? He's stupid. Oh, say, uh, we'd be tickled if they to go yeah. get it. I'll come back here. Herbie, phone for some food. What do you think I better get? Oh, let's have hamburgers and onions. A steak sandwich. Make steak. it too. A little spaghetti. Yeah, ice cream with pickles. And some bicarbonate. Can I have some pork chop? And bring some liquor. I'll take care of all of you. You gotta make the best of it till I finish this investigation. We're just as interested in finding the corpus delecta as you are. Aren't we, folks? Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you ain't kidding. Yeah, yeah. And as far as your legal rights is concerned, holding us here, you have not. So, you're gonna give me that bill of rights. That deliration of penance routine. The law says... Herbie, tell him what the law says. Well, uh, uh, well, they're all related to Honey Boy. That's suspicion enough. Take him in and lock him up if you want to. That's what I meant. You're under arrest. The gun jumped into the policeman's hand and spat once, shooting the fiend right between the eyes. Then the fun loving officer smiled at the lovers and said, I'm known as One Shot Murphy, frugal I'd say, and walked out, leaving the lovers chuckling and happy with their joy. Well, Chiefy, it certainly is a surprise to find out that you're an author, as well as a fine, upstanding servant of the public. Yes, Chief, it sure is thrilling stuff. What a flair you have for the dramatic. <laughs> You like my flair? Dynamite. I'll bet you've actually been through all those experiences yourself. Well, of course, uh, you just couldn't make up that kind of stuff. It's too real. But you mark my words. Mind if yes, I borrow some cold cream? I forgot mine. Help yourself, dear. Thank you. You mark my words. I'll get a whale of a story in this house as soon as I find Honey Boy Sprague's body. Could I trouble you for a cigarette? Uh, no, not at all. Help yourself. It doesn't take a lot of intelligence to be a writer. Hey, you Either must one. think I, I was brought up in hey. Brooklyn or something. Oh, the guy is trying to tell me that 62 thing. and 28 is 100. Be quiet, will you? I, I beg your pardon. We had a little argument. We, we were playing gin rummy. All right, and we... boys, all right. Sit down. Sit down! It doesn't take a lot of intelligence to be a writer. Either one of you folks could learn it. Well, coming from you, Chief, that's a whale of a compliment. 
Man, go away. Uh, Stop pestering me, will you? I ain't bothering you. I'm just playing. Sit down and listen to the chief. Yes. It's just a matter of uh, looking after details. What are the details? Well, you see, for instance, there's little characteristics that trap criminals. I'm sorry to bother you, you like this, chief. But I feel kind of useless downstairs alone and nobody to watch. That's all right, Herbie. Sit down. You folks don't mind, do you? Oh, no, not at all. I hope we can all find yourselves a chair. Yeah, isn't it wonderful that we can all be here together like this? Hey, honey boy, he had a head tattooed on his arm. It identified him and sent him to the chair. Not the chairs. I hung him. Of course. Now, take Honey Boy's partner, Smoothie Lewis. He had a nervous habit of crossing and uncrossing his fingers. Why, well, I could spot him in a room with a hundred other people. You see these details? Do you ever see one of these? Now, uh, that's Killer Blake's identification. Pictures, scars, marks, fingerprints, the whole works. Say, if that guy came within a hundred yards of this place, I'd spot him in a minute. Say, it's marvelous what they can do today, isn't it? It certainly is. Who wrote this? The chief? It's rotten. Uh, oh, what's that? Uh, come on, get out of here. Why, get out of here. These oh, people want to go to bed. What you, come on, out, out, come every on. one of you. Come on. come on. Well, good night, folks. Pleasant dreams. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Good night, Mr. Webb. Good night. New York is so pleasant at this time of the year. No. It's too selfish of me. It wouldn't be fair to the bunch. Oh, hello. Can I buy old blanket? What's the matter? We're going to help. This place is busier than a meat market with meat. How do you like this little number? Ooh, I think it's scrumptious. How did they get in here? Heaven must have sent you home. Yeah? Well, oh, heaven's going to get me back. Oh, I like you, though. I like you very much. Now, go away, will you? I'm married. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm only engaged to Ted. You know, the beefy one? Yeah, what do we think? I don't care what he thinks. I'm fed up with him anyways. He's always trying to bust somebody in two or something. Yeah? Yeah. Well, anyway, you can't say it's been a dull evening. Webby? Webby! What? Oh, but I like you, honest I do. That's all, brother. What's the matter? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I better look out here and see what's going on. Wait just a something I picked up in Bali. Oh, sweet. Webby? Where were you? Huh? Oh, uh, I don't know. So you're like I'm dumb, huh? Who, huh? No, the blonde next door. Did you see me go in there? No, but I saw you come out. How'd I get in there? You tell me. I bet I have an explanation in the morning. I'll bet you better. No, oh, don't be like that. I don't get it. I walked in there. You saw me. I walked in just like this. There I was. Hi. What'd you do? Dye your hair? Well, what's the big idea? Now, don't get me wrong. Oh, you're in again, hot dog. Yeah, but not for long. Jackie! What do you want? Just out. Hand me up first. You want to go to one piece, don't you? That would make me very happy.
do you switch to a brunette, huh? This house must be full of secret passages. Full of secrets, all right. So that's how you do it. Connecting door. She locked you out. Oh, honey. Don't you honey me, you Casanova. That I am, that I am. And don't oh, call me any more oh, names. Secrets. Glad I found you out. My mother told oh, me that you... The missing guest. Who? Your mother. Might as well have brought her along and your father, too. Oh. this mystery. And I think we could have been in California. until we came here? You sure work fast, don't you? You're crazy to think I see anything in him. Give me credit. Anyways, I'm the one he's interested in. He called on me first. But I saw him come right out of that wall without his white horse. Ah, oh, your head's full of tacks. I got brains I haven't even used yet.
I can own all the lumber. Oh. Nice house your father bought. Look at the fun we can have. You chase me, I'll chase you. Up ladders, down ladders, through the pound. What's the matter? You got something stuck in your throat? What is your game, brother? Oh, I don't care. Peanut for anything. Move it! What are you wandering around the house for? What are you looking for? It's our house. We can go anywhere we like. Shut up, sister. I'm not asking you. You can't talk to my wife like that. Yeah, who says I can't? Ever hear of Bobo Hutch of Pittsburgh? What are you talking about? You mean you're Bobo? I'll scram if you want to bump him off. Why don't you stop? There, see? He's going to blow his topper. Pay no attention to it, pal. After all, we're here for the same thing. We can make a deal. Don't count on his word too much, sugar. What kind of a deal? Well, say we split 60-40, no matter who finds the stuff. 60-40? Don't be a chump, honey. They're muscling in. Look, Bobo, give us a break. 25%. Okay, it's a deal. Got any angles? Mm, maybe. Have you? Only the tattoo mark. That's the key to the stuff. You know that, don't you? Bobo, don't miss nothing. Well, I'll talk to you about it in the morning. Now, beat it. Sure. From now on, we're taking orders from you. And if there's anything you want done, like eliminating that chief of police, just say the word. <laughs> Night. Uh -huh. How'd they do? Uh -huh. You were terrific. So now I'm Bobo Hutch. Enemy number one, two, three from Pittsburgh. You certainly are a great help to me. Headquarters, quick. Hello? What is it? Hello. Police headquarters? This is the Shady Knoll Roadhouse. There's been a holdup and a killing. Half Chief Bagnell will come right out. Can't send anybody out now. The Chief's out with all the men except me at the Sprague Farm on an important case. There's been a murder. You get someone to the Sprague Farm and tell the Chief right away. He'll fire you if he misses a murder. You know that. Well, maybe you're right. I'll drive out and tell him myself. Ghosts. Where were they? In the library. First one comes out with a gun in his hand, and then another comes out with a wall right in the back of my head, and used the phone, the first one took the first one went away with him. Oh, he must be dreaming. There's only one phone in this house. I've searched it from top to bottom. 
If you did, you missed the middle. Cause there's a phone night and show it to you. All right, let's go take a look at it. You stay here. No, you don't. I won't stay here alone. Yes, I'll wait. Well, don't you dare take any more chances. Let's go. Maybe I better wake up the chief. What for? Can't you handle it yourself? Oh, Oh, say, I like the way you do it, with that keen mind and that, mm -hmm. and that, that zip. Why, you're bound to be promoted. Now, show us that phone. I was sleeping right over there, and the man... All the right, man, all right. Now, show me that phone you were talking about. It's right over there among them books. This is a silly idea. Who ever heard of a phone behind a bunch of books? My golly, he's right. Uh oh Don't put your hand on that receiver. There might be fingerprints. Yes, and the first ghost called up the police department. The police department? Yes. What did he say? Let me see. I don't remember exactly. My body was here, but my mind was on Lennox Avenue. Oh, come on. How many think? Yes, sir. Whoever answered the phone, he told him that he should, uh... He should, uh... Come on, come on. Yeah. He should, uh... <laughs> And he said that the chief should come to, to the roadhouse if there'd been a holdup in the killing. Where did the first see him? Coming right out of that wall, right there. Which one is it? Right here. <coughs> Sound like the ghost done catch somebody. <coughs> That's like Screams of the Night, Chapter 4, Stop 11 TV. Get a hold of that old buzzer. Ah! Come on out, I'll let you have it. Come on, come on, come on, hurry. Where have you been? I sneaked out my own bed. I can't sleep if I don't hear the chickens cackle. You stayed away long enough to hang that dummy again. This is no dummy. It's one of Honey Boy's cousins. Yeah, it's Ted, all right. Well, uh, uh... You're under arrest. Me? Yes, you. This is some of your work. That's an amateur job. You'll go to the gas chamber for this. Gas? I'll never live down to this grave. This man was killed before he was hung. How do you know? Look, screams in the night, your bathtub murdered the last chapter, remember? Well, you're probably right. That not never killed a man. You have to hit him in there. Get your hands off of me. Me flat, huh? That's what he thinks. Look out at him so fast, it'll make your head twist. Standing by this horrible house. No place, no sir, I don't have to stand it, I won't. Blonde, blonde, brunette. I hate what's going on around here. Get out of here, he won't find me here when he comes back. in on you like this, lady. But just relax, keep your trap shut, and everything will be okay. You can't have that. It's mine. Give me that, lady. Help! 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 Hey, Chief, look. Killer Blake's fingerprints. Jackie!
What's your name? Barney Google. What's yours? All right, Blake. We know you. What are you doing with this? I'm an art collector. Come on, on your feet. Put the cuffs on him, Herbie. Darling. Uh-uh. Smoothie. Put him up. Now, back up just a little. A little more. Cheapy. Could I trouble you to take Smoothie off my hands? Did you say Smoothie? Yeah, he's Smoothie Lewis, the fellow with the twitching fingers, remember? I knew it all the time. You dirty double-crossing. No, no, no. What a story, Chief. How you captured Smoothie Lewis? Here, you put the handcuffs on him personally. Chief! Chief, you better come right away. There's been a murder out at Shady Knoll. Well, that was a phony tip. And Killer Blake escaped from the big house. He got Honey Boy out of his coffin and took his place in it. It's said that it's headed this way. Well, that looks like him there. What are you doing? Shh. Try to get it open. Yeah. Don't you wait. Well, look, here, here. We solved it. We? Well, I'm not going to argue with you. Here, are, Chief. Here's yeah, what all the shooting's you know. about. Diamonds, millions of dollars worth. The Cromwell Diamond. Congratulations, Chief. I'm great work. Now get out, will you? Herbie, I hope you get promoted. Well, then I hope they get 110 years. Get out! <laughs> Baby! Go well, along. Uh... Hey, so you got $800, don't bet him, boy. Ain't run out of money, and you're zero. Yeah, you can fight out of my neck. Good idea. Yeah, you better get Mr. and Mrs. Fry, I'm Bischoff, the man that sold your father's the house. But this isn't the house. The house is two miles down the street, but it's burned down. But don't let that discourage you, because I have a great many valuable estates here that I can... Oh, you yeah. 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 Shall I pack now? California, here we come there. Mm, that dummy again. That ain't no dummy, that's one of them cousins. 